the expansion. Welcome to our WSW rankings video. For this first one, we'll be showing you one of our most premier and top fighters, Bruv. We will be displaying his highlights and some of the things that we think he could use improvement on. If you think you know anything else that he could possibly use improvement on, or if you think this content is good and you want to see more, leave some comments and let me know. X2 ended up getting the win for this match. As you can tell right off the bat, Bruv pulls a green card so that he can have knockback on his enemy, but they bait the vanish, giving the, them the opportune chance to attack. They switch out their card to keep their combo going, and they strike each other, even blows, until the upper hand is on Bruv here. Now you'll notice, the baited vanish right here on the uh, tap attack gives Boo the advantage to attack. Where both cards have now used their vanish abilities, Bruv now has the chance to strike, and he utilizes such. In this clip here, you'll notice the destroy cards from Gohan Beast do an amazing amount of uh, changing of the playfield for Bruv. Where he's able to get a tap attack off, he has no units available to uh, bring out, and he has no cards to fight with, so he knows he's at the mercy of his opponent. An important note to gesture. Right here you'll notice that he catches his enemy mid-vanish, X2 I mean, catches Bruv mid-vanish, allowing him prime opportunity to get his strike off and finish one of his cards. It's very important to note by now that Bruv now has his Rising Rush, and it took him a while to get it. You would think he'd be inclined to realize that, but I don't think he checks his enemies to see if they have Rising Rush, or at least tries to keep that in mind. And you'll see how this takes advantage of him, right here. You'll notice that right here, I don't know if he's paying attention to his cards, however. The enemy cards, I mean. I know Bruv's paying attention to his own, however, I don't know if he's paying attention to the enemies. He uses his Rising Rush as a way to uh, kind of balance out and catch up with the opponent. However, he should be using his Rising Rush to rather win the game and finish the fight, or uneven the odds that are already existing. His opponent catches that uh, Rising Rush, allowing them to have two opponents still in the fight while he has only one. You'll notice here that the enemy baits the Vanish, giving them the prime opportunity to strike. And with only one card left, he's at the mercy of all of his opponent's attacks unless he tags out, which he can only do every so often. This is where he's really stressed into this test. He kind of has to utilize all of his abilities at once, because he doesn't know if he will win this or not, and he's trying his best to do so. And this should be the end right here. With nothing left, once again, he's at the mercy of his opponent, so realistically, that would be the end. Do make mention, X2 is one of our lower level fighters, surprisingly, so for him to get beaten by that, that does a great deal on Bruv's rankings, I will say. This match was between Sandman and Bruv, in which case Bruv ended up winning the two best two out of three. You'll see right here, Sandman keeps a steady type advantage over Bruv, Bruv constantly trying to switch out and letting Magenta take it, most of the hits so that he can use Magenta's comeback. The switch is non-stop. In this clip right here, you'll see... He ends up getting caught in the sidestep, allowing Bruv to catch Sandman, and he baits the Vanish with a tap uh, blast attack, allowing Bruv the single Vanish and the opportunity to strike. However, Sandman had switched his uh, teammate out to Magenta, giving him another Vanish. Right here, you'll notice the first comeback mechanic works off. And in this fight, comeback mechanics were very, very much useful, and you'll see both sides use them. This would be the second comeback mechanic popping off now. From simple tap attacks, might I add. Now both of them are even down one character. They become, now see, it, another revival mechanic. This is three characters down and three revival mechanics. You'll notice that that becomes a very familiar uh, format we see throughout this tournament. Now I know Grub did strike his enemy because he didn't have any vanish, but I wonder if he struck his enemy because he knew his enemy didn't have any vanish either. A fourth revival once again. Both trying to utilize the opportunity to catch each other in their sidesteps, if you haven't noticed. They're both waiting for that prime opportunity when they sidestep more than once to catch each other. 
And that's only the end of fight number one right here, you'll see. Sandman mm -hmm. ends up getting his get back in order to properly uh, even the odds here, I guess you could say. A goaded play by uh, Sandman, if you've seen, he actually walked right out of the way of that AoE in order to evade it. You don't see plays like that too often. And that's probably why he ended up getting the win to tie this match back. The final match, you could determine any character you wanted to use. So they both used their strongest characters. In any normal case, Super 17 should be winning this fight, right? Well, you'll see how Bruv's skill allows him to uh, maneuver this ideology. Bruv ends up using the boost of power to keep inflicting damage on his opponent, switches out. He's used, utilized all three of his characters at this point, and hasn't had to vanish. Maybe not the best play for Bruv. Sandman has now utilized the prime opportunity to strike and has done a great deal of damage to Bruv here. Bates the Vanish on both sides, a very useful play for both of them. You'll see that happen a lot throughout the tournament with our higher level fighters, that they'll both bait the Vanish on each other, utilizing each other as an opportunity to get the next strike off. You'll notice that Bruv tried to go for the Vanish, but he just couldn't as he switched his character out to Gamma, which ended up leaving Gamma open for this attack. Now it seems like Bruv is in the worse off spot here. He, he seems to be struggling so far, but can he turn this battle around? Bruv is known to be a great fighter, so it is known that Bruv has the opportunity to do something like that. Utilizing the tap attacks to drain his enemy and discourage them for the fight, Bruv keeps putting the pressure on, switches out to his cell. You'll utilize, you'll see both of them utilize their sidestep and both of them are playing a game of sidestep. What they don't know is or what Bruv seems to not know is that Sandman doesn't have a sidestep, and so he was actually, he had an opportunity to strike that he completely slept on. A tap attack that does immense damage because of the type advantage. Both of them utilizing their sidesteps. Again, Bruv had the opportunity. Catches his enemy before the AoE goes off. Very useful play right there. You don't see too much of that. He ends up baiting his enemy with a uh, what, what appears to be a combat. He, he thinks his enemy is going to strike him head first. Bruv catches his enemy with the AoE, which gives him a prime opportunity to unleash his enemy's uh, comeback mechanic. Sandman try to tries to utilize his Rising Rush in order to take out his str uh, Bruv's strongest enemy and reduce the playing field to something a bit more even. Bruv uses his Rising Rush right after following it up just to ensure that he can keep his enemy down, even though the Rising Rush did not pull through for Sandman. Sandman now is in a, a precarious situation. You would think that he doesn't have the chance of winning this fight at this point. And so he forfeits early, which gives Bruv the win automatically, proving that he's just one of the greatest fighters that we have. Let me know chat, comment if I made you yawn in the last clip. I know I kind of made myself yawn a few times while editing this video. Oh lord. I still had no way to get out of that attack. He was trapped. The rising run. Well, he, he, he missed the death. That was enough to take another card out of here. See, that's why I tell people a lot of our top level fighters say stuff like, I will never use my rising rush. See, that's one thing you should not do. Use your rising run, guys. You don't want to not use your rising rush. You are seriously going to come around here. If you want to become part of these tournaments, if you want to, you know, get some revenge tokens just by playing, or just by, uh, you know, making a guess on who you think is going to win, feel free to go ahead and put your time on. Whatever. Genta is out of here. Here goes that Cell Max. Revive, disruption, destroyer, whatever you want to call it, once more. Super damage dealer, activate. Both teams are on their last legs. This is crazy. They both pulled the cell max card right off the bat, so they won't have it in the second half either. Nasty play. Nasty play. Oh, and it landed. I did not think it would. 
Grub, you are a creep. This might be it. Six timer counts left. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, man. There we go. Finally caught him. No, no, no. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that, I think I think I might be dead. Or I survive oh. with 1 HP. Oh, please. 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 Oh, oh. This might be the end. Oh, He's Lord. He's really just trash. Dang it. <laughs> no, no, he does that thing on purpose. I've been scared. I, I've seen him recording. I've played against him so many times, bro. He does that thing on purpose just to mess with me. Oh, yeah, I do. I do a lot of things on purpose. The world's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's a jerk like that. Then I shall stalk the shadows watching everyone play how they play and Honestly, I've been telling people that's the best way to get better in this game, so Ghost, if you did that, you'd probably learn an insane amount. Anyways, I'm making the Legends rankings video soon, so you should probably get in a tournament so I actually have some fluff to make your video interesting. Bruh, stop trying to use them green cards right there! Oh my lord! David just got caught up so bad with that! There we go, putting pressure on Grub now. Switches out, catches the cooler on Titan's- er, yeah, catches the freeze on Titan's advantage, I might. Cooler's in the, uh, the, the good here, the clear. Oh! Absolutely decimating this freezer right now. Beats the Vanish. Catch, gets caught in the sidestep, allowing Grub the opportunity to strike. Switches out for that type disadvantage, that sweet, sweet type disadvantage. Paralysis hits, allowing an ultimate arch from Frieza. First form. Hmm, a sizable amount of damage it did. Oh, it baits the Vanish. Can this be enough to put him away? And he catches him in it. That's one out of here, making this a 2v3 now. This is now a 2v2. Grub said, bring it right back. I'm not finished with you yet. Baits the Vanish. Alright, will this be enough to put the... Oh. Catches him in the tackle. This allows gaming the prime opportunity for real estate. Real estate meaning, you know, putting a, a, a seasoned amount of attack on it. Well, let me do my testing and pull my skills to the ultimate. Yeah, most definitely. Go be your best self. There we go. Now we have one left in the fight. This is a 2v1. Gaming is on the offensive and switch to defense where he gets absolutely defeated. Oh, I believe gaming can make the comeback he has before. He's proven to himself, at least he said he has. Alright. Absolutely shreds. Here we go. Gaming putting pressure on him. Switches out. Cooler's gonna get... Oh, Cooler eats the attack like it's nothing. Takes it for breakfast. Switches out. Things that I'm learning right now watching these pawns fighting. <laughs> He said they're pawns. That's interesting. These are some of our best fighters, I do want you to know. They are, they are pretty good, but if you think you could be better than them, 
I advise you to join these tournaments. You can find, you know, the link for the Discord in the description. We host the tournaments there. That's how we do them when we're able to see both sides of this fight. I mean, what's better than a double POV, though? Nothing. There we go. Gaming baits the Vanish with Cooler, but gets caught up by Golden Frieza. Switches out to Cooler. Pressure getting put on Cooler now. Switches out. Frieza takes the lead. I mean, if you want, you could join this fight since it's still early on, but however, I'm going to throw you into a match right after this fight's done so that you can use this out. Add a new competitor in here. Who's the damn winner? I'm I'm disgusted right now. Who's I think I'm gonna winner? I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> what I tell you, Ozzy? Oh my God! Somebody. Ozzy, say the words. Say the words. I dare you. Say the words. <laughs> yeah, who won? 